everybody, my name is Kyle, I'm the mod creator for Elixir Mods. Um, I'm just starting off my tutorial series with just basic things to help server owners and some modders sort of get through if they have not done any kind of modding in Eco or have no idea how to install mods and stuff on their server or anything like that. So today's video we're just going to cover installing mods basically onto a Eco server. So here we have our fresh server install, there is no mods, there is no storage, like, so there's no world, nothing has been done on this server, it's completely fresh, and we're just going to go over installing mods and stuff on this server. So there's a couple places that you can download your server from, you can download it directly from the Ecos website, or you can download it through Steam. Um, However, also if you have dedicated hosting services, they op may op offer the option to actually rent an eco server and they'll do all the install for you. But we're just going to get through adding mods into our server today. So inside of our f eco servers folder, we're going to go into our mods folder. This is where you can find all the files for all the items in eco. Um, not everything will be in here, some of this stuff will be hard coded into the game that you can't change, that they don't want you changing. That's that's perfectly fine, we, we're not here to mess with that anyway. So a few places that we can download our mobs from is the official forums, which is forum.play.eco, and then we just click on the mods tab. In our official forums you will see um, a full list of mods here, and there is many many pages. Each mod has uh, an eco version that it's compatible with. So if you see uh, 8.3.x, then it is compatible with pretty much all 8.3 uh, eco servers, and so on with like 8.2 and and prior. So we could find some here that are abandoned. Abandoned mods are mods that are not updated, probably will not be updated. And we do not recommend using these mods in your server because it's likely that it will break. Another page that you can download them from is eco.mod.io, which helps bring in an automated updating system for modding on your server, which helps make it a little bit a little bit easier. Um, but we'll cover that a little bit later on. Now there is one more place where you can download mods from. It's not an official website. This is my own personal website for my mod pack. But I do include other particular things on here as well under my mods section. So if we go under our mod packs and we click on vanilla mods. In, our, in my vanilla mods section, you will find different packs here that I've created for basic vanilla modding. So some of the icons are missing. This, is a, this site is a work in progress. Um, I will do my best to try and keep it updated uh, for the different versions and as they come forth. Um, but here these are just basic modded vanilla files that you can download, put into your server, start your server and, and you're all good. There is a, a, a different installation process for these particular files as there is to the other ones, but there will be another video on installing my vanilla mod packs to help those who, I, who would like to use them. And there'll be a link in the description for that after that is done. So we're not going to worry about that today. What we are going to focus on today is um, just installing a simple mod from the forums onto our server, testing it, making sure it works, and then we're going to push on from there. So we're going to download the Restrooms mod. The Restrooms mod is a nice little mod made by Banda. He's doing very well. Uh, in the modding, and he, he he's learning he's learning quite well, and here he's provided us with some bathroom items. So we have a basin, a toilet, and a bath. Forgive the slow loading times. That's right, we don't need to. Anyway, so that's what we're going to get through this mod pack. I've I've already downloaded, as you can see. Um, with the forum site, you do need an account to download any of the mods from here, and there is a note that you download the files, download these files here at your own risk. SLG does not promise that these files will not cause any problems with your server or any harm to your computer or anything like that. You use them at your own risk because they cannot check them um, daily. Now, with 
eco.mods.io, you can also download the mods directly from here as well. Um, as you can see under releases, it has the file names. You just click on the file name for whichever version that you want. You can also check on the change logs to see what information they've added or they, what they've changed in their mod pack and stuff like that. But there is another feature to this website that we'll get to later. So here we have it. I have downloaded the restrooms mod and I'm going to open up my eco server file and we're going to go into our mods folder and here we're just going to grab our restrooms mod that we downloaded we're just going to drag this straight into the mods folder and that's it other mods might have different install instructions depending on if you have other mods installed on your server or not uh, it's pretty straightforward a lot of the time you literally just need to add the files straight into the mods folder or just the folder that contains all the files just pay attention to some of the ins install instructions that you will find in case there is some installations um, here they just say unzip the files into your mods folder which is pretty pretty simple so once that's done we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our server and so long as our mods compile with no errors then we are safe to proceed and we're just going to let this generate and then we're going to come back to it Alright, here we are again. Our server is finished booting and it has had no issues throughout the entire boot. Uh, we generated a, uh, a new world and this is driving me mental. So here, our server is booted up. We, Because we are hosting this on our own computer, we have access to the server UI, which gives us a lot of nifty little options, but we're not going to cover that today. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our server and we're going to check and see if the mod that we just installed works. This is what you should do. You should always test this on a local server first. Any mod files that you download, always test on a local server. This way, you've got minimal um, um, downtime with your main server. Your users aren't being inconvenienced. You can add the mods into the folder anytime. And then, upon the next server restart, the mods will be applied to your game. So, we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to skip all of the tutorials, all the basics. We don't need any of this stuff. Now every time you host a local server, you are automatically given administration privileges, so we can go ahead and we can test it out. So we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a bathtub, and we just received a modern bathtub. So that just tells us that our mod that we installed works, and we can go ahead and we can place this down anyway. And there we have it, There, there is the bathtub that we added, let's check the other, and then we have our modern toilet to go with, and it's not a basin, do you sink, nope, that's not our modded sink, so if you don't know what the items names are for these new items that you just installed, you sometimes you can go in and you can have a look at the file itself to see what it's called, so here it seems to be called a wash stand. There we go, we have received our modern wash stand, and placed it down, and there's our modded files. So these are the, this is the stuff that we just added in with our mod. Now if you no longer want the mod in your server anymore, you can go ahead, you can shut down your server, you can delete the files, and restart the server. However, these files that you do delete, if the files aren't replaced back into your server, if you've accidentally deleted or anything, it will remove those items from your world. So if you used any like building edition mods or anything like that, anything that the mods add into the game will be removed from your world when you delete the files. So you're better off starting off a new world and then getting rid of the mods that you don't want. Um, so this is our basic installation. So the next thing that we're going to look at is the hidden feature of eco.mod.io so we're going to go ahead and going to bring up our server UI if you don't have access to this uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult um, but we're going to go to mod kit we're going to go browse mods and as you can see there is nothing here so what we need to do is we need to click up mod kit and refresh mod list we'll give that a second and there we go 
This gives us a full list of all the mods that you can find on eco.mod.io. And we're just going to add one just here, nuclear reactor. So there's a couple things that we can do here. We can click subscribe and download. If we click, if we click on subscribe, we're going to subscribe to updates for this particular mod. So anytime a new update is released, it should automatically download it, update it, and the next time you restart your server, the new changes should be applied. So we're going to click subscribe, and then now we have to click download. So we need to download it. So there we go, it's downloaded, and we're going to click install. Now, if you're wondering where these files get installed, they get installed inside of our mods folder under mod.io. So under downloads is where you will find all the downloads that it has downloaded. So if you were to select um, vanity mod and we click download, there we go, download bar, and there it is, vanity mod is right there. However, this is where our files get installed. So once the download is finished, and it's finished installing the mod, it'll actually just unpack the zip file and place it in the mod.io folder. Now you gotta be a bit careful with some of these mods because some of these mods might change vanilla files and this will cause big problems. Um, however, if we're just after some basic mods like our nuclear reactor or the vanity mod. So we're gonna go ahead and install the vanity mod. We wanna see if that changes any vanilla files. Look at this, here we go, autogen folder. Autogen folder is in our default mods folder and so that just tells us right now that the vanity mod does in fact mod the vanilla files. Uh, so what can we do? What you can do is you can take all the files inside of this folder and you can put them straight into your basic mods folder. Um, it doesn't matter that it's been moved or anything like that um, but essentially if some of the stuff does overwrite vanilla files and it is in the mod.io folder it will cause problems with your server so just make sure after you've downloaded and installed a new mod you go in and you check and make sure that it doesn't actually alter any vanilla files to prevent any server issues so we just go ahead we can delete that we can click uninstall and then that is done now with our config section in our mod kit we can have a look at our subscribed mods by clicking here so the subscribed mods gives us the mod ID um, so when you go on to eco.mod.io every mod has a mod ID which you can find on the mod page so the mod that we have installed is our nuclear reactor mod and that's the same ID just here so once we've done that, we've gone ahead and then we installed the mod, uh, the mod that we want. We're going to go ahead and we're going to restart our server. The server shouldn't take too long to restart after you've already had it started once and had the world generated. We're just going to convert the world to a new format every time we add new mods. Uh, that just makes to sure make sure that the world is compatible with the mods that you've installed. Um, to make sure that everything functions nice and smoothly. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go into Eco. And we're going to just check and make sure that our mod has in fact installed. Uh, as I said, once again, if you're unsure what the actual item name is, just go in and go into your mods folder. And this tells us all the different items that we've got. So we've got a nuclear reactor, nuclear fuel cell, and a nuclear technician. Now the mod tells us on the mods page and our change log here, they added a new profession called nuclear technician. So we can check that in game just to make sure that that's actually been added in as well. So the first thing we're going to do just to make sure that everything is still installed, we're going to check that our previous items that we placed are still there. So our sink, everything is still there, which is very good means that we didn't accidentally delete any of the files that we were currently using or anything like that. So the first thing we're going to check out to make sure our mod's installed because it gives us a new profession is we're going to see if we can find the new profession. Here we go, there it is, under engineer specialties, nuclear technician. Requires a nuclear technician in a skill book at a research table. 
Alright, so the next thing we're going to check is we're going to go give nuclear reactor. And there we go, we just received our new modded item, which is a nuclear reactor. And the mod creator has included some particle effects, which makes it look very nice. And then we just go in and we can check out to see what is inside of our nuclear reactor. Wow. Now the other thing that had come with it was a nuclear fuel cell. There we go, we just received one, and it is interesting. Uh, we can also give ourselves multiple if you know how to do this in a server, then that's fine. Oh Jesus, a nuclear fuel cell weighs a lot. So we just go ahead and put this in our nuclear reactor. Power grid disabled, this generator to save resources. So it's not running because it's got nothing to connect to. But it takes our fuel, everything seems to function very well. Let's just give ourselves something that requires power to run. Let's give ourselves a street lamp. No. Ah, here we go. Electric. Let's give ourselves a steel floor lamp. So, a steel, a steel floor lamp requires power to run. Just going to place that on the grid, and there we go. Power it on. So we set it to night time, and there we go. Our light is on. We're generating power. We have about two hours worth of power from our fuel cell that's being used. So that just tells us that our mod is working, and it's working fine. And thank you very much to the mod creators that have created these wonderful mods. Um, and for all the work that you've put in. In doing so. So this is just our basic tutorial finished on installing mods into your server. Checking that the mods work. And basically just expanding on what Eco has to offer. Uh, big thank you to all the mod creators and everybody who's helped make any of the mods that have been featured in this video. Um, we will cover more in-depth uh, modding videos later on in this series. Um, but for right now, this is all I have for you today. And we'll get on to the next video in the series. Thank you very much everybody and have a good day.